Welcome back to more of The Sims 4 Discover University and we're kicking off uh, straight from where we left off at the end of the last episode in um, the first few days of Leo's third semester at uni and we've just got a text from Jay, he's got an extra ticket to the opera so why don't we go to the opera with our dad um, these guys are cleaning up because loads of people made food and it's a disgusting mess basically um, so yeah he's going to go off and hopefully enjoy the opera and we are back at it with semester three. It's a lot of work. Um, I'm glad we never have to do four again, um, like lessons per term, because my goodness, um, it's quite something. The opera was such a beautiful experience. Jerry Botticelli has one of the most amazing voices I've ever heard in my life. Well, that's good. Now do homework. Now you've enjoyed something for a few hours. You have to not enjoy the rest of your life. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of work um, currently with these four lessons. Um, in this semester, but um, since after this we'll only have to do three more lessons to graduate, um, three more classes, it's all going to be fine, because um, we never have to do it again. But this is very stressful. Um, but yeah, hopefully Leo is up to the challenge this semester, and there's still potential love in the air with Malia. She seemed very interested in going on a date, so we might do that um, either this weekend, but in two days' time it's actually Love Day, which I wasn't aware of. Um, so that would also be a perfect time to do it, but we'll have to see how busy we are on Friday. Um, in terms of classes tomorrow, distressed genes and birth growth and ageing. Um, I think he's already done the homework for that, so he's just getting ahead on the homework, so that's fine. And he's chatting to Ranji, who is sad, probably because he's wearing a hood indoors for no reason. Right, it is getting close to midnight. He has been chatting to these two though. Uh, Ranji and Ashley. So that's nice. Um, I think they've only just introduced themselves to each other, but that's okay. Leo is now going to sleep. Hopefully he can sleep fine through all their chatter. Um, he just woke him up. He's like, are you bloody serious, Eduardo? Well, I think Eduardo <laughs> has just become a candidate to bind this voodoo doll to that we got I think it was like human hijinks or something like that. So let's do that. I know he shouldn't, but Leo's an alien who doesn't understand life. So Eduardo has been binded to this voodoo doll. <laughs> I don't exactly know if you can do anything with it, but um, let's see what the options are because I cannot take this music. Do voodoo. Poke it. I don't know how this is going to go. He's poked it. Hey, stop playing music. That's good. Oh, now he's angry. He's angry at us. As you should be. That's what you get. You ever play a violin again, I swear, my friend. I won't be afraid to poke you again. Um, we can frolic and tickle it as well. Um, but I think that's enough for now. He stopped. I'm not going to go too far with that. I just really want to see what that did. So now we can actually get some rest, Eduardo. Be warned. Look how angry he is. He's so angry. I can't believe he's done this to me. I can't believe he's made me destroy my violining. I can't believe he's not letting me just practice my craft. We've got all these fireworks at the human hijinks thing. You don't need them. Let's just sell them and get a bit of extra money. Pay off that student loan somehow. Oh wow, that treasure map he found was worth 80 simoleons. You can't actually do anything with it, so I don't feel bad about selling it. Um, and I love that we have this voodoo doll. <laughs> that made me really happy. If he ever violins again, he will be punished. I don't also know why you need two lamps on this one desk. That seems a bit excessive. Like, how desperately do you need to see? Look, the book on this desk here. It's violin. It's a violin book. Ah, uh, they're everywhere. Violins surround me. Hey, look who it is, waiting for her class. It's Patrice, who we lived with in the last semester. Um, and there's Norman, who we live with now. One of them stinks. Um, love days tomorrow. <gasps> My goodness. Felix won the lottery. Well, if we ever find Felix, we'll bind him to our voodoo doll. <laughs> okay, first class of the day went well. Um, so, look at all these people we live with, and all four of them stink. And we used to live with her, I think, in our first semester, Laurie. Um, but everyone else we live with stinks, so that's nice. I'm thinking maybe after our classes today we go to the library and get started on those term papers because obviously we have two to write and they can take up a bit of time um, so maybe we get started on that. He's very low on fun. 
which isn't ideal. This guy, Joaquin, just stinks even more than ever. Oh, we used to live with you. Hell yeah, I remember you. He's like one of our best friends in our first semester. Um, so the only way to improve fun is, of course, to go to the library and do more work. Yay! As soon as he comes to the library, he starts feeling tense. Um, he's supposed to be feeling tense about, like, what people are whispering. But in the library, I suppose that's all it is, so maybe this wasn't the best place for him to go. I'm pretty sure there were computers here somewhere. Here? Are these, like, normal computers you can use? No, oh, you can study and research. I think we need these computers here. Which isn't ideal. Um, we might need to kick someone off of one of these laptops here. So I think these are the ones that you can actually do work on. Oh, they've left. That's good. So, let's do a term paper for birth, growth and ageing. Get that done. I'm aiming to just do one today, and then we still have like another five days to write the other one, and we can just do that in our accommodation. But I thought this would be a different little place to go to. He's reached uh, fitness level seven from writing his term paper on fitness, I'm guessing. Right, okay, so he's written the draft. I literally took him like three hours just to write a draft, but he's not that tired, so I'm gonna have him like refine the paper a bit more. Um, turn paper, don't submit it, edit it, there we go. Right, okay, so editing that is done. I didn't take him as long as it did to write the draft, so that's good. So we can submit that. That'll be one out of two things done then, which is good. Um, turn paper, submit that turn paper. Um, you can stop editing it, and then we'll go home and get some rest, because it's early in the morning, but at least it's Friday. Last day of the working week. Okay, so that's term paper submitted for birth, growth, ageing. Let's get home. Well, we've come home and there's a note here. I imagine it's going to be passive-aggressive, so let's read it and see what it says. Dear roommate, please clean me so I know you care. No, don't just put me down, you monster. I love the dish you just used. Um, well, we actually do our dishes, so... I don't know what you're trying to say, buddy. Whatever your name was. Norman. Blimmin' Norman. I bet he was named after Norman Osborne, because he's a villain. Oh, in the meantime, Ranji's changed out of his hood. This is the first time I've seen him out of that, I think. So there you go. Oh, I've just realised Leo hasn't done his homework for his class tomorrow. Ah! Sorry, Leo. You had a power nap. Wait. Wait. Oh, can we not unbind it? Otherwise I'd so bind it to you, Joaquin! Oh my god. Okay, so hear me out. Leo is very tired. And grumpy. He's had lots of work to do. He's a bit stressed out from his workload. And the violin's just the final straw, because everyone doesn't have boundaries. It's really early in the morning. So, the only way forward is for him to kind of snap a bit. And, um... Maybe sort of, kind of... If we see... Um, you know, it's a very innocent act of um, erasing one's memory. I wasn't expecting him to actually do it in front of everyone, but seems people haven't minded. Um, so there we have it. Right, he's having some food, and that's good. I don't know exactly what it is he's eating. Um, black and white cookie, which isn't an ideal breakfast, but there we are. Um, but it is now love day, so we have to have a romantic spirit. Um, spend a little extra time with the one you love or the one you're falling for. Give flowers to someone and go on a date. So we definitely should be asking Amalia out on a date later on. And hopefully we can do a lot of those different actions then. And there's another note. I feel like people are really starting to feel the pressure in um, this third semester. So now everyone's kind of starting bicking with each other. Is someone living here attempting to go for a record on how much toilet paper a single sim can use? I can think of no other explanation for how quickly we run out. Yeah, everyone's starting to like snap at each other, I think. Um, oh, it looks like someone's a vampire or something there, no relationship. But yeah, I, I think third semester's getting to everyone. Even someone then was playing the violin again. Um, but Leo has class to get to, so they've escaped wrath this time around. Oh, well, 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 look who it is coming to class with us. And because it's now Friday, we actually can really focus on Love Day, and then we have the weekend to do that homework and stuff, because we don't have to go on the date with Malia during the weekend. So this has actually worked out rather well. And immediately followed by another class, not even a break that time between those two classes, I hated that. College was awful for that, not so much uni. I've also noticed, um, getting a few notifications now, like, even if Leo gets to on time, and I tell him to, like, actively listen to stuff, he's not always getting 
enough out of the class. So I think the third semester is really putting some pressure on him. But now I think we are done for lessons for the day. Homework can wait for the weekend. Let's focus on Love Day and see if um, Marley wants to come on the date. Whoa! I was actually about to ask her, and look. That's insane. I mean, she wants to come on the date to Paddywax Emporium, a retail store. But okay. That was weird. They're like perfectly in sync. <laughs> the place of our date is um, this retail store. And to be fair, I don't think we've gone to a retail store in this Let's Play yet. I need to start doing this a bit more. You can actually own like a restaurant and retail store and stuff like that. So yeah, this is um, a little bit of an emporium. You can buy like guitars and figurines and stuff like that here. So it's kind of cool. You can't, it's just, you can't do much else with it. Um, but it's part of this lot here. Um, it's a few different retail stores by the looks of it. But yeah, I don't know why Marley thought, let's just go shopping for our date. Maybe because it's a Valentine's Day, she wants a present or something. Oh, we're now talking to a guy who works here. Um, I'm not going to try and butcher that surname, but H, I think is his first name. So there we are. I don't know why we're talking to this guy, but there we have it. Oh! She wasn't about that date in life. Oh, well, she didn't like that flirt. Okay, let's try and get this back on track. Are we really going to have another love interest be like, nah. Did she just come here because she wanted you us to like buy her things? And because we're just trying to flirt with her instead of buying her things, she's like, nah, mate. Why are all these employees coming over to talk to us? Like, go away. Okay, it's, we need to turn this around, Leo. They're getting talking now. I think we're just like easing ourselves into um, getting back in a potential romantic place. Because she was not about that flirt in life. Um, and she seems very keen to talk to the employees. So... I'm scared she has this game plan now, that it's like, oh, Valentine's Day is coming up, how about I romance this guy, and then he'll buy me something nice for Valentine's Day, then I can get rid. But because Leo's not interested in that, maybe there's another side to Mario coming out, like the true intentions? I hope that's not the case. Let's see how she responds to another flirt. Oh my god, no! It's an unpleasant conversation. <laughs> no. How is this possible? Apologise in bed? Oh my god. I think we might be onto something here with... I think Marley's true intentions might be coming clear here. This is just not going well. I think she wanted something nice out of us. This is annoying! Every time I'm thinking, oh, this could be an interesting love interest for Leo, it just goes wrong. <laughs> I thought we actually had something going here. Come on. We're going to try a few more times. Let's just ease it in with some happy stuff. The date's about to end. This is a disaster. She keeps calling over employees to, like, ask stuff as well. It's just, ah! See, look, at, look, their love's gone down loads. I mean, she was evil. I forgot that she was evil. I think she showed her true colours there. Let's, let's invite her back. Right, we called her back. He's like, what's going on? And she's just having none of it. She's just not... Oh, look how upset he is. Oh, see, look, money. She wanted him to buy her stuff. I think it might have been a bit of a ploy. Being insulted by her. Oh my god, look, their love's completely gone. Oh my god. She's storming off now, and Leo's angry. From an aggravating conversation. Oh my god, Leo. Well, I think Malia showed her true colours there. Well, that sucks. Oh my god. Poor Leo. Well, that's the worst love day ever. Oh, look at him. I think Leo just got his heart broken for the first time. I'm sorry, Leo. I thought they were actually going to go somewhere. Oh, that's so annoying. Blimey, Malia. I forgot she was evil. I should have known. Let's just get you home, buddy. Look how little fun he's now having. I think he's angry at himself more than anything. He, he doesn't like socialisation much, and he doesn't like big crowds. He allowed himself to get close to someone, but... I think it was all a bit of a ruse. Like, I think we're feeling it with this guy too. I think he had a bad love day too, because Denzel was just casually crying in bed. Um, oh, Leo. That's really sad. I was hoping it would work out Malia, but I think her true colours came out there. The search continues, my friend. How about you take your mind off it with more homework? <laughs> so he's on the phone to his sister Willow now. 
just kind of venting, I think, about what happened with Malia. And hopefully looking for some comfort too. Hopefully Willow can be the supportive sister. Fireworks going off somewhere. Oh, looks like there's a match on uh, at the stadium. But unfortunately, there were no fireworks in Leo's life. It seems the spark with Malia was all the ruse on her part, which is very disappointing. Um, so Leo's just going to focus on his term papers instead. <laughs> well, that did not go the way I was hoping it would, but what did we expect from other than hopefully one day Leo will find someone <laughs> he can really go the distance with. Well, I think it's going to be a bit more of a lonely weekend for Leo. He's feeling a bit better. He's still quite angry. Um, but I think focusing on work has kind of taken a bit of the heat and a bit of the disappointment and anger away from that little heartbreak. But my goodness. Okay, he's finished the draft of his other term paper. So we'll edit that probably over the weekend sometime. But for now, I'll go to bed. Oh, he's feeling angry again. Sorry, Leo. I'm glad I'm really bad. I'm sad that it didn't work out. I think it hurts even more for him, this whole thing, because he revealed he was an alien to her as well. And she still kind of just spat in his face. Um, you know, I don't think in the grand scheme of things that really got in the way of what she was trying to do. And, um, even if he was an alien, it still meant she could maybe get some nice gifts out of him. Um, and I think that's all it really was, unfortunately. Because um, as soon as we got to that place and got to um, the store, um, it kind of fell apart because he wasn't wanting to go along with what she wanted to do, which was shopping. <laughs> I feel like Leo might just focus on um, uni now and if he happens to bump into someone it will happen. I don't think he's going to actively pursue any romances until he graduates at this point because that was quite a burn I think especially when you know he's still trying to learn how to properly be a human um, more like how to deal with the human emotions that come with that. Well, on a positive note he just finished editing his other term paper, so you can submit that, and that's the two term papers done. It's just the exams to go in terms of coursework. And um, he still has lots of homework still to do. Um, but yeah, I think Leo might need a bit of an outlet now for his anger over what happened with Malia. And um, physical exercise is good for like relieving anxiety and stuff like that. So I feel like maybe that's what needs to be done now. Um, and this kind of bodes perfectly well, I think, into my plans for Leo to join a sports team. And that could be like a physical outlet for um, what he wants to do in order to get rid of this whole Malia problem. So at uni you can do this, the eSports competitor, or you can be a soccer team player. We're going to have Leo do that. So it's on every day, 6 till 9, um, apart from Sundays. Um, so it's kind of an evening activity, which I think is cool. And it's school spirit day, so it makes sense that we've done that. Um, and there we are. I think that's just going to be more like a physical outlet for Leo to just kind of make sure he gets the exercise he can outside of just doing work at uni. Because um, it's hard to get a lot of exercise at uni because you're just like doing work and all that and you're sat indoors all day doing classes. So that can be like a physical outlet for his anger. Oh, it seems Joaquin has his heart broken as well. I also think Leo's kind of learned from this whole thing with Malia that... Um, some things and some relationships, you know, you should hold grudges against. Others, you really shouldn't, and I think for that reason he's kind of realised maybe his treatment of Eduardo was a bit too harsh, so he's actually going to get rid of this voodoo doll as well. Um, which is actually worth 950 simoleons, so it's more than worth it. Um, because what is playing a violin compared to breaking his heart, you know? I feel like he's learnt a bit of a lesson from that as well. So he's going to let bygones be bygones there. I mean, Leo's let go of that hatred. I haven't. I'm still going to hate them if they play the violin. Oh, Willow wants to come over and hang out. That's very wholesome. We will have her come over. She obviously wants to check if her um, brother's okay. So that's nice of her. And Leo is now just playing a bit of guitar, um, really letting go of his violin hatred by encouraging people to play music. Um, he's actually getting a lot better, like surprisingly well. Um, and he's only got one more bit of homework to do, so he's kind of sorted now for at least the rest of today. Um, I don't know exactly where Willow's got to, but... I'm at, oh, there she is, she's down here. So let's also come and say hi to Willow. So just like old times, these two are just chatting um, and gossiping about all sorts and how life is crazy, especially when you're an alien. Um, and yeah, he's, she's just kind of saying, you know, forget about that Malia girl. If I ever see her, um, 
it would probably be the last thing that ever happens to her. Uh, so yeah, she's just like reassuring him that the right girl for him is out there somewhere. And he seems a lot more confident having heard it um, from where they were in person, not just over the phone. So there we go. Very wholesome. These two have always been very, very close. And I like that that still continues, even if Leo's currently at uni. Um, should always be there to support him. And these two have been talking well into the night now, which is pretty, pretty wholesome. Um, and I just like how they're always there for each other in the darkest times. Because Leo, it's his first real heartbreak. I feel like he would have taken it really, really badly. And he did. He, he was quite angry for a while. Um, but when those come along, paid a visit just to remind him his world isn't over. You know, the world hasn't ended. Um, it will go on. He'll find the right girl eventually. Um, and Malia didn't deserve him anyway, if that's how she's going to treat people. And all she's ever going to do is continue to hurt people and probably end up on her own. So... He's probably better off without an evil girl in his life. Leo's found a lump of clay. I know it looks like something else, but he's just kind of... I don't know if he's going to make something with it. He's inspired, suddenly. Um, maybe he's pretending it's Malia's face. and He's just like... Rah! Oh, look out, Leo. Two redheads just walked in. <laughs> Luckily, he's fast asleep, so he doesn't even know they're here. Okay, so that's going to be it for this episode of The Sims 4 Discover University. Leo, unfortunately, had his heart broken, um, and it didn't work out with Malia. She showed her true colours, and the colours were not good, let's just say that. Um, so that's a, that's a big shame, actually. I was hoping those two would work out, but it's not meant to be. Um, so hopefully the right girl for Leo is still out there. But yeah, uh, we're nearly done with semester three now, so in the next episode we'll be finishing that off. Um, he's done all his coursework for it, apart from the exams. Um, he's done all his homework, stuff like that. Um, and then we'll be starting what would probably be his final semester as well. And he joined the football team, so that's going to be another challenge for him to kind of try and juggle that. But since his love life's kind of taken a real backseat now, um, I think he might be okay. And um, it was nice that Willow came over and kind of talked him around, and I think he's going back on the right track again now. He had a bit of a wobble there with the broken heart, but I think he'll be okay. And yeah, we'll see how this semester's going to wrap up for him in the next episode. And until then... Thanks for watching.